This is the De La Rue Mach 5 coin counter. It's um, industrial size. It's got a the, the top unit that it counts and sorts the coins and the bottom unit that collects it. The bottom unit has a lock on it on the side here so that you can lock it to keep um, employees out of the bags. When you open it up it's got <coughs> shoots for every coin denomination um, that you can connect bank bags to. I don't have any bank bags so I'm using some gym socks and I will happily throw those in if you want to. They've got a coin slot for dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters, dollars, and half dollars. Each chute drops it uh, through the separator and down into the bag. The coin counter runs on standard 110 electricity and it's got a um, power strip in the back. I have uh, previously counted some coins and I'm going to run them through the you run them through the machine again so that you can see how it works. Let me put the camera on a tripod. The last time I, I ran this through a couple times and got uh, $150 right on the nose. Now another thing that the machine does is it has a bag stop. So if you want the bags to stop when they're filled at a, uh, say the quarters I, I set to stop at $100. So when the 100, when the quarters reach $100 the machine will stop and you could empty the bag, change the bags, or override it just by hitting the motor on and off again. So I'm going to go ahead and put the coins in. And I also have here a uh, Canadian dime that the machine should uh, separate out and not count. I'll put that in. I will turn the machine on and go ahead and hit the motor on and go ahead and start feeding the coins into the counter. Okay, the machine stopped because the quarter bag is full, so instead of emptying the bag, I'll just go ahead and override it. $150 right on the nose, and the magnet picked up the uh, Canadian coin. Now, last time I counted this, I've got um, $2.10 worth of pennies, and let's check the bag count. Pennies are two dollars and ten cents. The nickels should read six dollars and seventy cents. The dimes should read thirty-seven twenty. The quarters should read one hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. The fifty cent pieces I just put I just have one, so that should read fifty. And the dollars should just read one dollar. I only have one of those as well.